Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. I'm Courtney Johns. Emily Flores has the day off. Some of Utah's biggest tech and startup companies are meeting for this year's Silicon Slope Summit. It's now one of the largest and most prominent annual tech events in the world. ABC's Ali Arulian has that story. You can probably hear and you can see all the people behind me attending the Silicon Slope Summit today. And it's just really a testament to Utah's growth in the tech and startup industry with tons of leaders talking about Utah's future innovation as well as some of the challenges we're facing in the industry this year. Growth, a common theme at this year's Silicon Slope Summit. All you have to do is drive down I-15 and see what's happening. And it's powerful. With a bigger venue, bigger crowds, and bigger names at the event, leaders of the state and the tech industry have the same thing in mind. The importance of technology, the importance of sharing knowledge and wisdom in an effort to make the world a better place. And Governor Cox speaking at the event and listing statistic after statistic about how Utah's tech and startup industry has exploded, saying in the past 10 years, businesses have generated tens of millions for the state. And last year, we saw a 6.5% growth in tech jobs in the state, leading the nation. Now, almost 10,000 tech related businesses in the state of Utah. But it doesn't come without challenges. The CEO of Oversock saying, considering Utah's low unemployment rate, high housing prices, and more people choosing to work from home, the workforce is changing and businesses are trying to keep up. And I think that's what the new workforce looks like. Some come here and relocate, and some talent stays where they are and helps. Utah businesses grow, and I think that's the way it'll be in the future. But companies still expect more innovation and revenue to come. I think the ideas are here, and the people generating and building those ideas are here. And with Utah's tech future expected to keep growing, Governor Cox ended his message to the audience by saying businesses need to help their communities, and that government wasn't designed to solve all of our problems. We need you to keep giving back. We need you to make part of your mission giving your social capital to lift others. Governor Cox ended his statements with a message to tech CEOs saying, you don't have to wait till your billion dollar exit to give back. Reporting in Salt Lake City, I'm Ali O'Rulian, ABC4 News.